lesson on Mr. Beaver. Mr. Beaver is out in the wilderness. He's found himself a little piece of wood and he wants to hang out with you. So let's get started on drawing Mr. Beaver. I'm thankful that you're joining me uh, for this lesson. Uh, grab your pencil. Uh, HB number two is great. I like mechanical because it's always sharp. I'm going to start real loose, real light. We're going to make a circle, not perfect. We're going to just use it to block in our character, our shapes. And we're going to put some shoulders and arms on this guy. I'm just going to rough um, sketch this just to get out um, where everything is going to be. So um, here's going to be the, here will be, here's going to be, listen to me. <sighs> I get so excited when I draw. I'm not used to talking while I draw, so... Let's get on with um, adding some greatness to this beaver, right? Okay, the beaver tail is going to come out the back, so let's sketch that in. I'm going to say hi to all my friends in Houston and even up in Canada. My friends in Canada, hey, let me hear an A. I love it, I love it. Okay, so here is our face. Let's draw right in the middle. A contour line means it's curved, right? And then we're going to pull down to a V-shape the nose. It looks like a home plate of, of uh, baseball, right? That's so funny. I'm going to have everything do with no food today, okay? Because I just ate lunch. I'm not hungry. So I'm not going to make everything sound like food today or look like food, right? Yay! Okay, don't get mad. Right? Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so for the mouth, I want to do something different and just make it wavy and, and just add more character for this guy. So add your little squir squirvy, corvy, whatever. Be quirky. Um, his teeth are those cute little buck teeth, so one's longer than the other, one is um, shorter, you know, just have it different and, and add a bold line to that little one to make it look like the depth, okay? Near objects are, are larger, um, so we're going to we're going to make the log pretty big and his little hands big. Um, and for the eyes, I'm going to do the L eyes on this little guy. One L and a mirror image L right here with the oval. Put your ovals in there with the reflective dots. Good. Perfect. Very excited about that. Nice. Okay, and then for the shape of the head, I like to have a little curve here over to the ears. Let's make them more like a block shape. So go ahead and block those in right there. I'm going to make this look better. Don't worry. You're with me, right? And we're going to have him give, give him some cheeks. So pull out his head from his ears, and then we're going to point it down. Good. So let's go back and clean a little of this up so it doesn't look so odd to our eyes, right? I'm going to even get rid of the head because I'm going to add hair. Let's just go ahead and add the hair. He's having, let's think about this. Is he having a good hair day or bad hair day? I don't know. I'm in Houston, so we always have bad hair days. Is that a bad hair day? Yeah, we'll leave that. Okay, so for the ears, you can round them out. Don't make them look so square. Give him his inner ear lines. I'm going to shade that in right there. And for this ear, I think I put it up too high. So I'm going to work on lowering that and making it look more um, unified. You know, you uh, balanced. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so I like that. I'm going to curve that. I'm going to darken it in. You're, you're um, now adding detail when you start darkening things in. So here we go. We're going to do the ears. Oh, I love the shape of that face. Are you happy with the shape of your face? Say, yeah! Now, if you like what you're watching today, please hit that share button down there, okay? Uh, I, I don't really get paid for doing this, so I really would love for you to share it with your friends. Let them know um, I'm out there, so the more people that like my stuff and subscribe, the more videos I will make, okay? I just like to share my love love of drawing with everyone because I think it's just so neat to be able to pick up a pencil and draw and I hope you have found that passion too 
Okay, so you see that I brought my body in because it was just too wide. I'm looking at this, the perspective, and the positioning of this, this beaver. So I don't want him, you know, too big, but I want to give him some character. So his arms are going to come down this way. So they're larger up here where the shoulders are, and then they get smaller when they come down. Now his hands are going to be on top of this log that he has found. Maybe he's the one that created the log. I'm going to have a little stump right here. You want to add more character to your you're drawing more uniqueness than what I have. I'd love to see that. You definitely can post it on my uh, Facebook page, um, Art with Albright. I'm going to add some cracks in this log. Um, oh man, I could get into details right now. I better stop. Um, you can find me on Facebook. I'm in a group, so you have to ask for permission to join, and I let everybody join, so definitely come on board. I will be offering uh, different summer camps and if you need to check out my website um, you can do that and sign up and get enrolled right away because you want to be part of uh, the summer drawing times. Okay so for the fingers I'm gonna do an oval right there on that line where, I, where I've just drawn real light um, the line log the line of the log oh my goodness I can't even talk today wow that's kind of sad when you can't even talk okay so there's another one so I'm gonna give him three three fingers and the little thumb I'm gonna have it poking out on the other side of the log see this log right here yay there's a line you got it awesome now let's do that to this side that's why I like using pencil when I draw because I erase a lot. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, that looks good. And I'm like, no, it doesn't look so good. And then I erase and go back and erase. See, like that finger? Oh, my goodness. Pinkies are smaller. So that is the wonderful thing about drawing with a pencil. You get that, um, that privilege of erasing and going back and saying, you know what? I think I like it this way and not that way. So awesome. I don't have any beaver jokes, so sorry. I didn't really uh, ask anybody for beaver jokes. So if you know any beaver jokes, let me know because I, I need some. I'm into, I'm into jokes and having fun in life because life's too short. Okay, so I'm just adding some contour lines, some details, um, adding some thickness to this tail so it doesn't look so flat. Then I'm going to add um, some shading under the arms, make it look like there's um, some, some light, some, some thickness, some depth underneath um, where, the, where the arms are coming out. I'm not going to really add a whole lot of texture to this guy because uh, I think he's probably a smooth beaver. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to color in his nose. I waited because today I'm really sloppy. Sometimes I'm sloppy when I draw and I just rub my hand all over my work and then I end up getting that graphite all on the side of my hand. So it just depends on what mood I'm in, <laughs> right? Everybody has a different mood. Everybody has a different um, way of drawing and yours is always right, right? You're the artist. You are awesome. That's cool. I think Mr. Beaver is super cute. Oh my goodness. I love doing the beaver. Okay, so for the log, I want to add some some cracks and some, some grain and some different uh, texture to this log. So I'm going to just put some scratch marks on here. See, I'm just using my pencil and just going real light on that. No big deal. Now over here, I'm going to do like a curly cue inside of the log to make it look like the inside of a piece of wood. You know, the years that the, that the log has been there. Okay, give it some real fun. And then I'm going to put some grass. Ooh, that's a good idea. Let's do some grass. Just like the hair. We just, just do some waves and some scribbles. Uh, give, it, give it some fun attitude right there. And then I'm going to cast a little shadow, just a little shadow, because um, I think the sun is right above him. 
I don't think there needs to be too much more on this beaver picture than a little shadow. And I am going to add a horizon line. Let's go ahead and do that. Follow through back here. I think it might be right there. Just a little bit of a line. And let's see here. What else could we add to this guy? Let's just lightly shade in the inside of here to give it a little bit of a value. Okay, I might actually do this video again and do it in colored pencil because my daughter uh, pulled out our Prismacolors. Oh, those are my favorite, favorite, favorite um, colored pencils on the planet. And she is a professional with those things and she's going to teach me some different things. So you be on the lookout for her YouTube video because I've challenged her to to make videos because she knows so much about um, how to how to use those colored pencils and make them look amazing like paint now I grab my stomp if you don't have a stomp it's okay leave your picture as is I think that is adorable but if you have a paper stomp it's just a blending tool so I'm just gonna load up my uh, stomp with the graphite on the nose I'm gonna go underneath the eyes give that shadow and around the around the lips a little give them a little depth there and that chin and the shoulders the header head is casting a shadow on the on the shoulders and the body so I'm gonna pull that down oh, my computer keeps going to out on me hopefully that's okay and then I'm gonna have a little shadow coming down on the left side of him um, just because I think the Sun is is casting a little bit of a shadow there for him um, and under his fingers and I'm just gonna give an overall value to this uh, log to make it look more more like a log so if you enjoyed today please share it with your friends um, subscribe to my channel and you will be the first ones to get an email um, to let you know that I have a new video posted so thank you for joining me um, I hope you have an awesome day with your newfound friend your beaver and please um, find me on Facebook and let me know what your beaver looks like bye guys